And from San Bernardino, California to Baltimore, many Muslims fear in retaliation for the attacks led by terrorists of Muslim faith. Right here in Baltimore tonight, a group of Muslims leading an interfaith prayer vigil for the victims in the recent attacks while uniting a community. <laughs> In a mosque in the Rosedale community of Baltimore County, a call for prayer. All life is equal under the eyes of God. In a response to the terrorist attacks in Paris and in San Bernardino, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community calling for unity, and many people responded. It is our human duty, not just as the religious people, but as humans to give our condolences to victims of any kind of extremism, any kind of violence, and unite against this extremism that is there to divide us. In a recent CBS News poll asking, do you think the U.S. should temporarily ban Muslims from other countries from entering the United States? 36% saying yes, 58% saying no. Secretary of State John Kerry on Face the Nation. Let me be very direct. I believe that uh, that kind of a ban is... Uh, contrary to American values, it's contrary to our Constitution, uh, but I also think it's a very dangerous foreign policy. For many Muslims, they too say they face fear after the attacks, fear of retaliation because of their faith. Christians here in Maryland say this is a time more than ever that we should stand in faith and prayer and support one another. We're standing against the harsh language, the divisiveness and the hatred, and we're standing for the love and acceptance of each other as people of faith and prayer. While many see only a difference in faith, those attending see this as an opportunity to step outside of their comfort zone, understanding and healing. That is the way that things like uh, are going to change. It's through friendships, through personal uh, relationships. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA is among the oldest American Muslim organizations.